Hi there everyone, this is Miss Nelson here and today's lesson is lesson 4.7 in our 4th grade Florida Go Math book. Lesson 4.7 is about dividing using repeated subtraction. So we know if you're in my class I've already told you that division is the same exact thing as just repeatedly subtracting your dividend by your divisor. So let's look at this picture here. This should be a pretty easy lesson because you're just actually going to find quotients, not even by dividing, but just by subtracting. So it says, John is building a backyard pizza oven with an arch opening. He has 72 bricks. He will place six bricks at a time as he builds the oven. If he arranges the bricks in piles of six, how many piles will he have? And so it says you can use repeated subtraction to divide 72 divided by six. So we have the problem 72 divided by 6. 72 is our dividend. 6 is our divisor. We want to find the quotient without dividing. We want to find the quotient by subtracting. So we know that what we can do to do that is use repeated subtraction. Repeatedly subtracting 6 from 72 until we get down to 0. So every time we're going to start at 72 and subtract 6, and then whatever that answer is, subtract 6. Whatever that answer is, subtract 6. Whatever that answer is, subtract 6 until we get all the way down to 0. So we'll just have to count how many times we had to subtract 6 to find the quotient. So let me show you what I mean by that. It says right here, they've already started it for us, 72 minus 6. 72 minus 6 is 66. So that was the first time I subtracted. Then I'm not at zero yet, so I'm gonna subtract six again. 66 minus six is 60. That was the second time I subtracted. 60 minus six is 54. That was the third time I subtracted. So I just need to keep on subtracting six until I get down to zero Every time I subtract 6, I have to count it. When I reach 0, I will know how many times it took to subtract to get to 0. That will be my quotient. So let's just keep going over here. 54 subtract 6. I have to borrow. So... That's an 8, and this is a 4, and that would be my fourth time of subtracting by 6. Subtract 6 again. That would be my fifth time of subtracting by 6. Subtract 6 again. That was my sixth time of subtracting. Subtract 6 again. That was my seventh time of subtracting. I'm going to move up here now so I can have some more room. 30 minus 6. That was my eighth time of subtracting. That was my ninth time of subtracting. Subtract 6 again. Tenth time of subtracting. Subtract 6 again. That was my eleventh time of subtracting. Subtract 6 again, and I finally get to zero. That was my twelfth time of subtracting. So if I go over here and I want to answer C, can I reach zero evenly? Yeah, I landed perfectly at zero. So yes. I can. I landed perfectly at zero. So count the number of times I subtracted the six counters. That was 12 times. So my quotient or my answer to 72 divided by 6 is 12. And that's how you use repeated subtraction to divide. If you're in my class, I want you to mark down the password of football in your planner so I know you watch the video 
And if you have any questions, just feel free to leave me a message. Thanks.